Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali and this is my boyfriend Ryan and we are in Big Bend. Actually, we're headed to Santa Elena Canyon mm -hmm. and we're gonna do like a little hike that has a little river. You guys know I love water of any kind so I'm really excited about it. And yesterday we got in at around like seven so we kind of like caught the sunset and we were able to take so many cool pictures of the place we stayed at which I'll try to give a tour when we get back um, early this morning but it was like this stargazer a-frame kind of thing and it was really cool we could see the stars and I took some awesome photos on my camera with like long exposure I'll like put them on the screen they are insane when I tell you I like ran to my computer to upload them <laughs> because I wanted to like zoom in and it was insane <laughs> like I was just shook so this whole place is just very very like shocking almost like you're just like where am I and it's so silent out here too at first when we got out of the car to like go over to that overlook we were like whispering because I was like why is it so silent? It feels like you're in a recording studio with no echo. Yeah, it really does. Just like take it, you know? Yeah. We made it and we're entering the trail. It's what? 1.6. 1.6 round trip. So, like, usually it's so hot. I came last time. Mm -hmm. and it was like about this cold. Uh huh. And I wore this puffer uh -huh. with like a Cortex, like where you take it over it. It was so cold. Yeah. And like I got like at one mile on the trail, I take all of it off. Oh gosh. I wore a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so 1.6 miles. We'll probably yeah, get that do done all. in an hour, right? Yeah, what? Oh. <laughs> okay. It's like a 15 minute mile, don't you? <laughs> yeah, it's I guess so. Less than a mile there. Okay. <laughs> So to get over there on the trail, we have to walk through the water pretty much. So this will be fun. Hopefully, oh, babe. <laughs> oh, okay, well I'm just hoping that my socks don't get soaking wet. We got our feet wet. <laughs> yeah, well I didn't know, okay. Whoever comes here, wear your chacos because hokas aren't, aren't the answer. <laughs> A little bit of a predicament because this is the next pathway we have to cross and I don't think it's happening to be honest <laughs> like we definitely should have brought chacos for this do do babe I really don't want to like fall in the water though it's like not <laughs> that shallow and if you can see here it's like straight mud and that does not sound fun to fall in actually it kind of does but like with all my camera equipment I don't know about that so I really thought the hike was to get to this place like I didn't think it would be here already but you know i'm not complaining because you know <laughs> hiking is not one of my favorite things so i'm not i'm not mad but there is like a pathway up there so it's like along the mountain i don't know if you can see like the little white ropes or the little gate over there but that is where you would hike so like along this canyon thing which could be cool but i'm just like just i don't know about that <laughs> what i think it just goes back there yeah you think about 1.8 miles round trip will be Point nine, whatever, point eight miles total. Um, yeah. It's probably as far as it goes. Well, let's see how many calories we burned just standing here. Um, oh, it says end workout, so that's a good sign, right? It's 30. <laughs> 30 calories. <laughs> 30 calories. You can see this guy up here. He was actually in front of us, but he took off his shoes. He was smart. Apparently, he was wearing neoprene socks, so he, like, just went in the water and crossed. Smart guy. We decided we're gonna do it because <laughs> we're here and I just wanna see what it looks like up there. So we're going barefoot. Is it gonna hurt? Yeah, probably. <laughs> but we're gonna do it. <laughs> and I'm gonna just hold on to my shoes and get our feet all muddy. At least we have like towels in the car. Oh, we do have like those water bottles so we could like Rinse. wash off, but let me just hike these up a good amount. So he Ryan's gonna rocks keep his fall. shoes on, I know. The rocks. You can do it, you're old, least, who cares? At least it's exfoliating my feet, you know? Okay. Alright, let's go. 
let's do this. What if it's really cold? Oh. It's probably gonna be pretty cold. <laughs> it's cold, it's cold. It is cold, it's getting deep, but I'm almost over there. You got this. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to hold your hand while I'm already in the water? Would that help a little? We made it. <laughs> Teamwork <laughs> makes the dream work. <laughs> Hell toes. yeah. Okay, that wasn't that bad. All right, let's do this. I'm just gonna walk barefoot like, you know, a normal person would be. <laughs> Granola, you know, no big deal. Our first cactus, we've been here for no, Less than 24 tree hours. Tree. Well, we didn't see cactuses. We saw like little palm trees, but not these kind of cactuses. They're all over. So I ended up putting on my shoes because it got rocky all of a sudden. Um, but honestly, my feet don't even feel wet, so I we are good. Actually. What? Mine don't even feel wet anymore. Yeah, that's, that's kind of good. Sweaty <laughs> We're gonna just go up a little more and then we're gonna head back. It's a short hike, but the views are like really, really great. Especially for someone who doesn't love hiking, but likes views. This is a great one. Look at all these cactus, babe. It's really like a cactus farm out here. We're stopping the hike here, turning back around. What did you think? Pretty cool. Honestly, all I wanted to see was the entrance, but I'm glad we came over here too. Yeah, me too. We finally are seeing some creatures out here. We've been wondering where they've been this whole time. Hi, baby. You're so cute. Back at our campground and I thought I would give you guys a little tour of our A-frame stargazer and then show you guys like the bathroom situation too because I think it's very interesting. So we stayed at the last one down here. It's called the Aries one and there's a bunch of these all along. It does have free Wi-Fi so that's kind of nice because Ryan actually has to take a work call in a few minutes. But you get a bonfire, a little table, and this is what it looks like inside. So there's a queen bed. We did have to bring bedding and pillows, but it wasn't too bad. And then there's a mini fridge right here and a coffee maker. And then they also have some twinkly lights. I wish it had like a little bit more light just cause we did get here at night and it was kind of like hard to unpack and everything. But other than that, I think it's really cool. And uh, there's a clear ceiling for some stargazing. When we first got here, it wasn't super noisy because it wasn't very windy, but then like as time went on and the night went on, it got so windy and the top of it would like creak because obviously it's what I, you can like kind of hear right now, just like creaking. And so like, I feel like both of us kind of just like <laughs> woke up every like 15 minutes because of that. And then we heard an animal. There's animals, there's a lot. Animals, yeah, like a pack, I feel like. We have no idea what kind of animal it was, but it was like howling, but almost like a crying. It was like right outside the side of the, like right side of the door, what do you think? Or left side, what do you think? I don't know, we didn't see it, but he saw some paw prints, so I wonder if like the people at the campsite like knows what they are, you know? Probably coyotes, what do you think? I don't know, because I don't it's know It's like what a bobcat, kind of, too. It was like, kind of like, like a cat. Yeah, and then after that, we heard like the roosters going off. And this was like at 4 a.m. That concludes the tour of this place, but do you want to show you guys the bathrooms? Because I'm very shocked at how like clean and nice they are. This is a bathhouse, and they have some outdoor showers right there. And then in here are some showers too. These are just the covered showers, and then on the other side are the bathrooms. They have regular toilets so you don't have to pee in the ground. And right by the toilets, they have the sinks, and I feel like I need to take a mirror selfie in this mirror. It's super cool. There's not many restaurants over here, but 
One place that my friend recommended was La Posada Milagro for some breakfast burritos and we are starving, so we're hoping they're good. This place is so cool. It's such a vibe out here. And I got some fresh OJ, we got burritos, and I was craving something sweet and they also had fresh shows and eggs Like it was actually really hard deciding between all of them. So their menu is pretty big. And then Ryan got, what is this, a mocha? Yep, I try? Mocha. yeah. There's so much chocolate syrup, why is it that sweet? You need to get the chocolate it's in the like bottom. It's barely sweet. I don't really like coffee, but this is yum. So I got my merch on finally. I've run a master's hat, but I think this is gonna be some good luck out here. Where are we? We're at uh, Blackjack's Crossing. It's like the number one resort golf course in Texas. So it's like saying like Sea Island in Georgia, um, Pinehurst, North Carolina. This is the one in Texas version. So it's supposed to be really nice. I'll judge it. I need to see how how nice the greens are looking. Yeah, it's We're definitely gonna, getting a little hard. It's 12.30 now, our tea time's at 3. I want to start warming up probably an hour before. Mm -hmm. So we have an hour and a half to burn. That's what we do. I feel like a lemonade sounds good, but where can we get a lemonade around here? I'll be in the... What's the place here? On the site? Believe it or not, it's pretty booked up here. There's like not a single soul for like 100 miles around here. But they said it was peak season, which I don't really believe. Maybe it gets, gets hotter. How do you not believe that? Yeah, it's perfect weather right now. Yeah, I guess. I got out as a single, so. Yeah, thank goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Keith Mitchell vibes today. You know who that is? No. Went to Georgia. He's like a pro golfer. Uh huh. And he wears like a big like Cisco visor all the time. I feel like visors are not flattering. <laughs> me or just in general? Uh, <laughs> your hair is <laughs> popping out of it. Yeah. All funky. I guess that's a little better. You gotta stretch out, you know? We gotta play well today, babe. And I really do. <laughs> when I say we, I mean you. Yeah. You gotta play well. I need to shut here. I need to move to get my gloves out. They didn't have lemonade, but I got this drink hot water. I've never had it. And I really like mojitos, so we're gonna try it. Do a little taste test. Cut water? Cut water, yeah. What'd you get? Old grove gin tonic. It's good. It's good. Mm. It's like, it's like more of like a seltzer, you know? I don't know, I feel like it's not as sweet as a mojito. Well, actually, I don't think mojitos are supposed to be super sweet, but I usually ask to make them sweeter. Thoughts? It's not horrible. Tastes like a hangover, kind of? Oh, God. You're talking <laughs> about that feeling like, of, like... Yeah, kind of. Like, you should, like, your head hurt. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, this facility is it's pretty nice. It's fake grass. That's the greens grass. are not looking good today. That's painted grass, Ryan. I know. It's still not green, like nice greens, but we'll take it. Yeah, the beans are pretty cool. All the mountains. mountains. Alright, are we going to play good today? Yeah, we're going to break 80 today. I'm calling it now. I believe in you. He's going to play some driving range, right? You want to hit, hit some putts first, or what? No, I don't like putting. we got to make this one good. Because this shit was not cheap, huh? Alright, first tee here. It is 380 yards to the center of the green. It's a ninth handicapped hole for four. Good luck. Where is the 14? We're on the top of the world. This is super nice. Oh. Go, 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 go. Finally. Oh, yeah, far. 
so far. It's really a tough course, but really pretty. Look at this. I'm pretty sure it's Mexico. The river, when you get next to the river, I know that that river divides the U.S. and Mexico, so we'll see. I know so. <clears throat> I feel myself warming up. I had a good drive, a good putt. Par. Do you think loud music helps you to loosen up? I mean, eating, kind of hanging out for a minute it helped. Yeah. Being good. a little frustrated, you know? Yeah. It's the number one handicap hole. What does that mean? It's the hardest hole in the course. Six, which is not great, but he's still break 90. He's going to have to break in the game. Okay. Stay up this way. Just run the 18th hole here at Blackjack Crossing, and um, we are. Just now being the sunlight down behind the mountains. And we're gonna try to par this hole out. Or birdie it. Let's see. I believe in you. Finishing a par five. I should have just squeaked on. Hmm? I should have just gotten on the green. He's drawing pretty hard in there. Look at this dip that I took, hit with that. So after playing this course, I'm well not done yet, but if you're playing the back, the back nine's a little easier than the front, or I just warmed up, I don't know. But um scored pretty well in the back. Front, not so much. I've only doubled holes in the back though. I've parred everything and doubled like two or three holes. So it's like you play really well, then it kills you and you lose a ball. We're in a totally new location. We actually drove to Marfa right after we got done playing golf. And by we, I met Ryan and I took a nap. I'm very always sleepy. And honestly, he was even more active than me today. So like, I don't know, but the sun just makes me so freaking tired. But anyways, yeah, we're in Marfa and we're staying in the coolest freaking place tonight like as you can see there's a fire in front of me and i don't want to show it to you guys on this vlog so you'll just have to wait till the next vlog which hopefully should be coming in a couple of days we're gonna go shower and get ready for bed i'm gonna end the vlog here but i will see y'all in the next one bye